What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Call of Duty 2024. Of course, that's going to be the title that's going to come out this fall. And I know it's a bit early to already be talking about the next game, but there's been a lot of leaks lately about uh, COD 2024. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Of course, the leaked name right now, and of course, take this information with a grain of salt. This is all leaked information, but this is coming from people that have leaked uh, Call of Duty games for years. And I would say probably 80 to 90% of the time, the most, of the most of the things they kind of talk about or leak is pretty spot on. So COD 2024 will be Black Ops Gulf War. And this is the first game in the Call of Duty franchise that has had a four-year development cycle. So Treyarch is the main developer uh, around this game. Of course, you know you will have the other small development teams like we do now with Call of Duty helping out. But Treyarch has had four years to develop this game. Now we all know that David Vandehar, of course, has split kind of parted ways with uh, Treyarch, which was a, a big disappointment to me because I've always been a big fan of him and what he has done with Treyarch. But I still think Treyarch can do a good a good job with this game. In my opinion, as long as Activision does not get in the way. Activision seems like they get in the way of a lot of these development teams and kind of take things out of the game that they wanted to put into the game. But we'll kind of have to wait and see on that. But we do know right now that there are a lot of leaks coming out about this in general. We're going back to round-based zombies, which is interesting to me because I think round-based zombies is a, a great thing to play. It's great fun. It's really, really good. But there are going to be people out there that really like this open world kind of zombies we have in Modern Warfare 3. So I'm kind of curious to see if they will leave that in game as well. Or if it's going to go back strictly to round based. I really enjoy round based. Personally, the open world uh, zombies that we have right now is a lot of fun as well. I'm kind of curious to see if they're going to be able to do both. Or they're just going to go back strictly to round based zombies. Remastered maps from the Black Ops series. Not sure what maps those are going to be. Not sure if the game is going to come out with just remastered maps like Modern Warfare 3 did. With a four-year you know, creation cycle, surely they would not just remaster maps from the Black Ops games right on release day, and that would be the only thing available. I'm kind of hoping they would mix it in. Let's say they wanted to bring out five, six remastered maps, five or six brand new maps on launch day would be great. Uh, traditional military combat uh, technology, large pre-order and early access. They're gonna, there have even been leaks about how the Pre-order bonuses are going to be different this year. A lot of new things that we have not seen in the past and a lot of early access. And I'm not sure if this means early access to just the campaign or what I think Call of Duty should do, considering that a lot of people have been kind of concerned about pre-ordering Call of Duty over the years because the games have not been that good. They don't feel like they get enough content for the pre-order. Or it's kind of like this last year, they feel like they're paying for a game that was almost an upgrade from you know last year's game from Modern Warfare 2. So if COD would actually put out early access for multiplayer, I think that would be a big selling point for people to pre-order the game. I think it would do really well personally for me. Now, of course, we know this game will come out sometime in late fall, so usually in November. Personally, I wish they would push COD up to around October. Uh, somewhere, you know, maybe the week before Halloween, something like that. I would have liked that release date instead of that more towards the end of November release date, but that's just me personally, kind of something I would like to see. But overall, this sounds really good, and we also have heard rumors of the return of the Pick 10 system coming back, which is something that I've been looking forward to for a really long time. I'm a big fan of Pick 10 over the Gunsmith. But anyway, guys, that's kind of the info we have right now about what Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War may look like. Hopefully all this information that's being leaked out is, you know, pretty much going to be spot on because this sounds like really good news to me. But leave me a comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.